What's up guys? This is the Rohan and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. And to pick up where we left off, we are about to destroy the Swedish faction once and for all. They have a small number of troops coming in as reinforcements, but they will not be enough they will not be enough to stop us. So without further ado, let's crack on and take them out. Then once this has happened, we can then set about the business of uh, organising our troops to attack Britain, attack Spain, and then also to drive westward through into America, as well as still build up our forces to then launch attacks eastward. Because right now we are masters of Europe, and there's nothing anyone can do to stop us. Mwahaha. Right, so... Drop my guns up on this bit of raised terrain here. Create a strong line. We're, we're going to have to be. Well, I didn't mean to pick them all up again. So we're going to have to be a bit mobile because we know the enemy are bringing in reinforcements. So let's just leave people. Leave my howitzers unlimbered. Deploy my guns up. Make sure we've got cavalry on both flanks. My guns here are going to have to. My uh, mortar, hand mortars are going to have to hunker down and just see where the mood takes them. Let's put my light infantry up on the right flank. Janissaries. Some on the left and some on the right. Let's keep them away from the guns. General in the centre. Alright, so let's unlimber my howitzers now. The enemy are coming in over on the the right. So let's take our troops and do something like this. My field artillery is opened up. Make sure my howitzers, when they do open up, they hit this these clusters of weak infantry first. Sabahi so hit the dragoons. You guys deploy into square. All right. My Sabahi just runs straight past. My Semat, Chemat can push up and take them out. That provincial cav unit is going to get very upset. You guys can limber up and run into the woods. Keep my cavalry hunkered down here. Don't charge them in too quickly yet because we do have... Oh, my hand mortars have engaged. Very well. Let's give my line infantry some independent orders. And let's probably line these guys up to square off against the reinforcements. Push my Spahi and my Delhi Cavalry up. Push up my Chemat to help, this, to help provide some support. Push my hand mortars up as well. I don't want my cavalry charging in because these guys are being hit by quick climb. So right now I'm, I'm more than happy to let my howitzers do the terrible business. Yeah, it looks like they actually did fall back. Turn my Daily Horseman fire it will off. Change my field artillery to engage these new enemies. Light infantry try and deploy stakes. So you can fire it all on because you'll get a good cheeky shot at those those uh, horse guards. Yeah, they got a couple of kills. Right. 
all three of you guys drop into square. Switch my artillery to round shot. Actually, can you guys hit people with quick climb? No. I can just about catch the corner of their formation. They broke my square formations. But not enough. Draw the line along. The militia will fall, then we can redeploy my line to face the new Swedish enemies. Something like that. Who's that? Let's see. Well, that's my a gun a gun team. They're not going to be around for very long. Yeah, there we go. Charging them my Sapahi, and that was enough to make them route. So one of you guys. A couple of you guys actually could probably stand start dropping some quick climb on these nearest troops. You guys hit that provincial cav unit that's coming in. Delhi Cavalry got a good volley off, actually. And they're shattered already. Let's bring my patties around here. My my guys over here can hit. Nah, actually, it's better if you all go in. Although the Grand Guards are aware that something is up. Some good quick line hits here. Alright, you guys wheel off, because they do have infantry back there. There we go. Fire by rank and a dose of quicklime has done the trick. There's not a lot they can do. They've all been pushed back. These foot guards are going down. Yes, they are falling very, very quickly. Sapahis intercept the general's bodyguard. Forty fifth are broken. Push my infantry up. Okay, where's my Delhi horseman and my Spahi go straight line it down the edge of the map? Delhi Horsemen, my Spahi go after the Gorillas, Delhi Horsemen go after the Artillery to the rear. And these poor devils are going to get cut to ribbons by my precise and uniform musketry. Yep, there go the Horse Dragoon Guards. You guys should be engaging the 73rd. Grim mercenaries have been chewed up. Let's bring up this unit of Sapahi to go hit the militia. They're now eager. Switch you guys to round sharp, bombard the 73rd. Take these men to 
deploy like so to face down the Force Grenadier Guards. Although I expect my some more horse going their guards have stuck around but the withering fire of my muskets and my light infantry will eventually see them off okay let's pull away let's charge the 73rd let's turn firewall off for a moment that will at least give my men a chance to reload. So as these guys think they get a good free opportunity to fire, they're going to be hit in the rear by a cavalry charge. And there go the Swedes. Now if my calculations are correct, that is the end of the Swedish faction. But it remains to be seen. Let's find out. So they're going to fall back. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sweden is ours. So let's retrain this army. Let's look at your buildings. Chapter school. There we go. Let's burn that down and replace it with a madrasa. Let's get you guys up to Bergen, where you will be picked up by a sloop. Let's rebuild the... Rebuild the uh, People the road, get to do some economic upgrades. Good stuff, this force here at Sweden. Can you leave Stockholm yet? You can, excellent. Let's get you down to Malmo, where you will also be waiting for a sloop. Actually, we might recruit a couple just to keep the uh, just to keep the ports occupied. Let's upgrade you as well. Let's check out. Okay, you only have, you only have one a turn. There we go. So now that's cleared out all the Swedish armies that were down here. So let's take this force under Yashi Yahudi. They can march south and put Spain under siege. Everyone else, however, Ahmed Siri, march up to La Havre. You guys also march up to La Havre. You march up to Brest. Let's build a couple more sloop, um, a couple more sloops to occupy as uh, port guards. We also do want to start moving our navy out. So let's go take these guys and blockade Greenwich to stop them from moving that fleet anywhere. Same with this art navy here at Aarhus. Let's go block this navy in at Portsmouth. So now that gives us freedom to travel across the channel. So let's keep the economic upgrades going. Antwerp, go to Dry Dock, and then build a Go to sleep. Let's go down to to uh, North Africa. This army that previously wasn't pushing up because there were two Swedish armies here can actually march up now to the Moroccan border. I didn't really check if I could actually leave. Fortunately, they could. But Morocco will be a target of ours. Let's see who is a. The allies of the Mughals, so if we attack the Moroccans, we need to be ready to march on the Mughal Empire. So, let's go over here. This army is ready, so let's march them down to here. So we've got one decent navy down here. So at Bandar Abbas, let's make sure we are building we're still building more ships because you need to do you want to do a lot of raiding down the west coast and then up here at Basra we want to recruit a lot of sloops to act as our transport ships so Mercan Recid your army is nearly done so let's get some let's get some Nizam let's get two grenadiers let's get two 
two generous musketeers. There we go. Just keep recruiting. Keep recruiting troops. Chiefly because that is what is most. That's what will be most needed. Do you want camel gunners or do we want. I can't get any more camel nomads. Okay, yeah, you're marching your way around to Cairo. Start to just pick up the few regions that aren't actually 100% Islamic. You're waiting here for orders to attack Corsica. You're kind of hunkered down, waiting for orders. I doubt some of these forces can actually leave yet. Like, Strasbourg likely can't leave the city. It looks like you probably could do with, luckily, another unit of melee infantry. Yeah, you've got three cavalry. So let's get a unit of Chemat Janissaries here. Savoy, do you have any funky friends I need to worry about? Also, the Mughal Empire. So when this army is reinforced, I'm likely going to march down and sit them here to box in Savoy. Ultimately, ultimately, it's not a problem because the, that's that's a lot of armies boxed up and occupied here in northern Italy. But once they've won here, I will immediately ship them over to the Indian front. So let's do some upgrades here. We do also have these forces here at Lisbon. They are replenishing. Good and good, and then we've also got ah. Let's take my small navy down here, and then let's go quickly knock out that British fleet. Bloop. There we go. Let's bring the fourth rate into our service, and they've sank, been sunk. So let's replenish. These guys, so what I was thinking is, I do have an army here. So let's send this fourth rate. Actually, let's take. Hmm. Take this fourth rate, sail it over to Barbados, just to stop. A, stop the recruitment of any more ships, and also stop the movement of any more of these troops around the, the world. But I should probably. get this army deployed and probably start to take out Jamaica and Santo Domingo. That would be a good idea, I think. Uh, everything else, meanwhile, is done. You're in good nick now, so you could probably do with some ships being built to help you out. Well, at least to ship them, because I do need to get, I need to land a bunch of armies in mainland UK, and I also need to land them in Denmark, because we have a agent who's been up here since the start of the game, watching what's going on. Okay, let's hit enter. There's more armies march down to the Indian front. Oh, I didn't do any of those repairs in France either. Darn. Oh well, at least the end turns should be relatively speedy. Because you've knocked out most of the frustrating powers of the world. So a little sip of my drink. Right. I'm not sure where the Mughals think they're going to end up sending their troops or sending out their scholars because chances are by the time they actually get to a position where they could use them uh, we will have researched everything we want. Or that could be research. We will know everything there is to know. And I have another Hashashin. So I may as well walk, run this Hashashin down to Ahmedabad. Ah. Good. 
Construction report. Oh, mostly it's economic stuff I'm bothered about. More so than military. Um, church school, we don't need that. I'm donating a madrasa there. So we are slowly going to convert Paris. I'm not in a rush to do a lot more than that. I might keep a happiness building. Actually, we've already got one. But two might be good, because France can be a bit antsy. And they'll soon have lots of industrialization to be angry about. Although the agent doesn't have to be there. We've got these areas well covered. Get that Hashashin to go down to Marseille, where we will send them aboard. Aboard a ship over to the Middle East. With the iron workshops, polish the state, this madrasa. Pleasure garden, this port. Upgrade the Turkish bath, upgrade this port. So many industrial buildings to upgrade, but the main focus was to deploy these troops to mainland UK. So the question is, do they have any free ports? Yeah, they do. Manchester is free. Not Manchester, Newcastle, sorry. Let's get this sloop out of there. Get this sloop over to Calais. So the reason why I've done that and moved my sloop back out is because if I keep the port empty, I accidentally cancelled the, cancel the building, if I keep the port empty, I can do this. Oh no, wait, can I not? Oh, is it because it's broken? That makes sense. That does make sense, actually. A damaged port you can't actually e as easily unload from. So let's take this. Actually, let's ship out. Ship out these sloops. Hey, two experienced chevrons. Ooh, it's the Mughals. So if we take Madrid, then they should disappear. Or at least teleport. Oh no, you're still replenishing. You're not a good fit to send to mainland Europe yet. Can this force in Cologne run away? Well, not run away, but... Minus three. Yeah. This force can. So let's send one of these Jebex away. Round to our hoose. Get you guys aboard. And then deploy you towards Ireland. Oh, right. Sail around the zone of control. There we go. I'll put Ireland under siege. Let's get you into this port. Or we'll blockade it. You're going to die anyway. That navy. That army anyway. You're replenishing. So when they're replenished, I'll sail them up to hit Iceland. Good. Everything else is going according to plan. So you're going to go hunker down by... Bandar Abbas, you are going to hunker down by Basra. Good. Lots of successful spying missions. Let's check my research and tech. Okay, soon we won't have any need for this university here at Kayseri. Yeah, they're almost going to be a full army soon. Let's build another unit of Sipahi here. Good. Right. Keep the military buildings upgraded, chiefly because you never know when you're going to get a... You're going to be attacked somewhere you don't expect it. 
So can this force from Lisbon leave Lisbon? Minus two. I'm not entirely happy about it. So let's bet. Let's get some Janissary musketeers and two grenadiers to occupy the city while you're gone. And this force, even though it didn't like me clicking on it, can march down towards Gibraltar. It really does not like me moving my armies down here, clearly. But what we can do is take Hazif Fouad and we can attack London. So that's going to knock out the greatest city in the British Empire. And they will be ours. The city will be ours. Edinburgh will soon fall, as will Ireland, as will Iceland, and I assume that means in the Americas the United States will be born once Britain is dead. So that should be pretty interesting, I think. Okay, so. Deploy my, in my artillery here. Deploy some artillery here. So then I want my Riskers of Souls and my Janissaries going up and over the walls. These guys will probably do. So they're likely to get a bit shot at. Shit, let's not clump them. Let's not clump them too far over here. Right, then to go through the main breach I've got three units of infantry. Two lights. And two cavalry. So let's use my... First of all, get my howitzers on to quick climb. Start going to work. First shots, because they were had round shot. Good old quick climb. Yeah, so my assault forces are getting slightly picked at. But once we've made our breach, then they will likely change their targets. Just a second, everyone. There we go. So, a lot of quicklime coming in, although none of it on this unit of the 91st, that's a unit I would like to to damage because they are actual line infantry rather than militia or armed citizenry, so they have a bit more a bit more pop to them. Although if they don't move quickly enough, then they will actually you better go after that file like armed citizenry. They will lose a lot of their men when the wall collapses if they are not careful. 81, 93, 96. There we go, here it comes. Ah! Can one of my howitzers start to work on the quick climbing? On, on the, uh, the mortars? Actually, let's get them both to work on the mortars. Actually, no. Keep one of them on. Keep one of them on the units here, close to the wall, because when I push it up, it needs to be with everybody. So let's line up these men into a kill box around the breach. Then these men, these Nizam, climb the wall. You hunker down in front of the wall. You climb, you climb, the risk of the souls definitely climb, then my Janissaries climb the section of wall near the gate, those two units just run up. There we go, the mortars have engaged, although my, my howitzers are now engaging nearby. Let's get my 
field artillery to keep dropping shells on the breach here. So I'm relying on my quicklime to nullify these mortars, although it's not worked. I think I'll keep one dropping on the on the breach. You keep working your magic on them. So my field artillery should be starting to, should be should be still getting some good kills. Okay, so let's push you guys up so you fire into the breach. There we go. When that quick line comes in it should help reduce the number of guns that can actually engage us, at least in theory. I hear a charge. These armed citizenry, they're going to betray their captain! Oh no, they're charging out. These poor souls. In very, very long column formation. The quicklime tears the arse out of these defenders. Holy hell. They will, the armed citizenry will not be long for this world. Okay, you guys can try now try climb this section of the wall get some rifle support into the centre of town. This garrison line infantry is going to have a big surprise. Because my risks of souls are getting out there. See, they're concerned because of the frightening enemy unit. That's my risks of souls, because they don't give a damn. Brought my light infantry up here, because they can take up positions on the fire steps and fire step and fire down into the into the breach. Now that my men here are occupied fighting them, there we go. Oh, now we're starting to chug. They're starting to charge out as well. I mean, I didn't give you... You guys, I don't think I ordered to attack, but whatever. But these guys, looks like... Yeah, the 93rd are falling thick and fast. So when you guys have taken the gate here, then these men can run in and fall and attack the rear. It looks like the guys in the breach have decided to push. My light infantry are getting up for walls. Give them another order just to make sure they do do it. I mean, I say that and clearly they're not going to do it. Looks like those light infantry are going to uh, be intercepted. So let's see if I can run these Nizam who were on the walls now off the walls. So we should now have this gatehouse. There we go. So those guys run into the rear. My Riskers of Souls are having a great time against the 93rd. So let's turn off, we'll turn off my field artillery, my howitzers could keep attacking the 92nd, actually hit the 90th. You guys charge the militia.
E-Man. Charge these guys. So, because I'd like my light infantry to fire into the back of that combat, that'd be pretty dope. These guys can't work out where I want them to go. So my Nizams are winning against on winning on the wall up here. Okay, right. You guys stop firing at the backs of my infantry. You guys engage the 91st. Give my light infantry a chance to take position on the wall. As they should do. Although it looks like they didn't want to do. I mean, I want you guys to get over here and fight the 91st. I don't know why some of you want to run up here, some of you guys want to run away. There we go. So I want my Nizam to do this. Yeah, look, they want to run down the wall for some reason, even though... There you go. So they're opening up and engaging men here. You guys are walking. Big mistake, buddy. Run my Janissaries along the wall to help support combat further along. Building lost. Oh. That's not cool. How it says hit the 90th. That's a good quick climb here with a bunch of infantry there. Nizam is in a bit of a meat grinder. But they're getting some good support from the light infantry. So let's get my cavalry over here. Get my get these Janissaries to bypass this combat altogether and instead get over to the the gatehouse. Yep. Should charge those guys. Hit those guys rather. Right, let's charge these men into the breach because it looks like we're about to have a bit of a shootout. There we go. Let's run my cavalry cavalry in any way they can get in. guys want to sit here while my janissaries clear out the central square. Field Marshal of Europe, no less. Sorry, Field Marshal. So you men be ready. sit on the square like so another one of you come over here and fire into the rear of the combat front of the breach there we go now they're engaging the 90th or they were they've already fired and there we go my howitzers can drop artillery fire onto them you man are going to execute field marshal 
Well, actually, he's the only one left. There we go. You guys push up. Charge all this infantry along the wall. So these light infantry. Oh, they've, they've done enough. There we go. So when these guys are done, they're going to pour fire into the breach from the rear. Oh, the general attacked my... Uh, it reset the, reset the flag. Oh, there we go. Killed the general. These janitors are firing it well into the rear of the breach. You guys hold fire. Let's get my cavalry over here and hit the breach as well. So you guys want me to attack the breach, but whatever. Just get you out of the way. There we go. Just charge them in to the guys defending the breach. Poor souls. They're trying to defend their city from the enemy invader. However, it's not enough. The 90th are not standing up to the Combined musketry, artillery, fire, although we could probably. No. I could say we could probably get them with quicklime, but it doesn't look like it. It's armed citizenry. Snuck out of the walls to engage us, but we switched to fire at will. My Nizam will pivot and engage. There we go, the breaching forces have broken. Everyone's broken. Good stuff. The forces defending London have been defeated. And we now have a foothold on the British Isles. And that's pretty dope. London is ours. Destroy University of Cambridge. Destroy the College of Divinity. Let's do some repairs. Because our navy so overmatches that navy. Let's use my let's use my cavalry to push their navy out into the open sea, or we can just destroy them. Get you guys in port. And you guys can repair. How does this navy look? Let's run the Delhi Cavalry out here and try and do the same thing. Smash. Let's then you guys get back into London. Get my ships in port. Do some repairs and pick up some second and third rates. You upgrade this global trading company. Everyone else is on the march. They're not in range yet. Let's not upgrade any buildings yet. So they're minus 28. Clamour for reform gets them down to minus 8. Repairing the building should fix that. Let's not build any industrial buildings in case you make me even more unhappy. Patras, let's get some buildings here. Ironmaster's Forge in the Rhineland is built. Gallery school in Venice. Oh, well, we can't actually do much building anyway. Good. Everyone's on the march to where they need to be. So you're replenishing. Here we've got great, great Arsenal in Paris. So we've got this chap still converting them, which is great. You, you're, you might be surplus to requirements up there. I might send you down here. 
uh, this spy can also start to do... I was about to say start a long walk. No, you need to get down here. So can you. Right, let's pick up a sloop to do that. You guys loiter outside of the Savoyard port. Let's force Alsace. Good, you can leave. You are going to march over to Brest and maybe become one of the armies that march or that head over to the west. So here we do have a, a sloop. So now we can take you guys. Embark at Otto Brander. And then let's go land. Oh, let's go take out the pirates. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Very ragtag pirate army there, but then again, aren't they all? Although I could just go could just go take them out right now. Let's do it. Let's go knock out the pirates at Antigua, then probably go hit the Brits to the south while we wait on uh, their destruction in Europe and for more reinforcements to come. This is going to be an ex just an all-out offensive. <laughs> Artillery is not going, to be, not going to be of much use. Let's put them ex out on the extreme flank. Right. Oh, my risks of souls going through the town. Absolutely. I want my Sekban going through the town. Oh, man, I have so much melee infantry running through the town. So let's group up the ones I've already deployed, so I don't forget. Sekban on the left as well. Then on the right, we're going to have our infantry line, although it can be a very uneven infantry line. So much so I might just deploy my Israeli, like so, deploy my Royal Cairo Guards, like so, cavalry with them on this flank here. Let's just push my infantry up. If they match us and also push, then we just engage my melee infantry. Run. Just run through here and just start attacking them because they're only light infantry and they're not good at the uh, hand at the, at the uh, melee fight either. So you attack them. You attack them. You run up. They're only light infantry. They're not great in melee combat. This is why they've really pretty much got nothing going for them. Just charge my melee infantry straight in. Including my Riskers of Souls. So let's get my K 
cavalry around the flank. As my melee infantry smashes in. Yeah, they're not doing so well. They've broken. Attack of those guys. You men charge on and hit the fourth light foot. Should you go hit the seventh? There we go, we've actually started a conventional musket battle over here. Oh, the field artillery engaged in general. So it looks like he's going to try to give us the runaround. There we go. Sekban's charge against the fifth, although it looks like they've already broken. Oh, you guys hit the fourth light foot. These Mamelukes can now swing in. No, don't, don't veer off sideways. Chema hit the pirate mob to the sec bands. Chase down the pirates. Although it looks like most of them are. Yep, understandably, pirates don't like these particular guys with swords. Hold on, let's get you guys back here. You men that aren't the cavalry, charge the tenth. So this Chemat back here, Chemat and Samat, will definitely, yeah, they, they're going to do some good work at the General's bodyguard. Everyone else is just pursuing. get these infantry to fall back. Get the camels in. What about their general? The general's the one that's sticking around. So let's bring the camels over here. Oh, there goes the general, actually. The staff can't be too far behind him. Come on. There we go. Well, let's just end the battle there. Good. <laughs> the charge of the charge of the melee infantry. It's pretty dope. There we go. Antigua is ours. And they're not entirely unhappy with us, but they're not super happy. But let's demolish the shipyard. We do have to go and attack the Brits at some point. They've got a bit more of a conventional force here, though. But let's go back to Europe and hit end turn. And see what happens. I'm also curious to see what the British response is. Ooh, they're actually going to attack me, eh? The Coldstream Guards and the Grilla Mercenaries. But looking at the timer, it's I'm probably going to end the episode here because we're nearly pretty close to an hour. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first battle outside of Ireland where we've got some quite elite British troops attacking or joining in the fray. Radio. Cheers, everyone.